do you want to go over some of what I mentioned, in, like in brief, or yeah, now that he's recording? Yeah, yeah, I think uh, um, just the, the ability to catch things earlier, um, the greater awareness that these tests are available. Some of these variables have led to a lower mortality rate because you can get involved earlier. We are uh, at a very exciting time because uh, on the one hand side with technology and proven benefits of lung cancer screening, which we did not have available up until a handful of years ago. Uh, and on the other hand, the success of, of the decades of, of uh, awareness about the harms of, of smoking, uh, this has resulted in a decrease in the incidence of, of uh, or the mortality due to cancer. And, and uh, lung cancer by far is the number one uh, killer in our population. So as we see a decrease in lung cancer, in general, the overall cancer mortality has been coming down. Um, the last uh, year had or presented the, the biggest decrease in decades. And that's great news. Uh, the concern now is as mortality goes down a little bit, does the awareness become a little bit less intense? Does, uh, do, we, do we tend to forget and then go back to the habits that uh, raise the mortality to start with. And if you add to that the fact that vaping has become an issue, particularly with our new generations of high schoolers and even horrified to say that middle schoolers, now to a certain degree, close to 10% of middle schoolers admit to having tried vaping, that exposure at that age really is setting the stage for a potential significant issue over the next uh, several decades. And so the efforts on trying to decrease the amount of vaping and not see it as a harmless recreational activity, but rather as a real tool to help adult smokers quit smoking, that is very important. And I think the medical community in general has been trying to, to raise that awareness. We need regulation. We cannot just have e-cigarettes and vaping be almost like uh, uh, any other activity, almost like chewing gum, right? Uh, of course, there's age restrictions and such, but it's not enforced, it's not regulated. Uh, the industry doesn't have quality standards in general to, to um, like any, like marijuana, for example, medical uh, cannabis is, is the most tightly regulated business uh, out there. And you have the opposite, which is vaping and e-cigarettes. Um, I do would say and, and dare say that had the vaping industry had been, been regulated tightly on the onset 10, 12 years ago when it came to the U.S., we wouldn't have seen the tainted cartridges of uh, cannabis that was being used for vaping that resulted in so many deaths of young, otherwise healthy individuals. Now the CDC has uh, discovered that the uh, vitamin E acetate that was mixed with the uh, cannabis oil to, to vaporize it and vape uh, resulted in this deadly lung um, toxicity combination. And so what happened, there's, it's so easy to go out there and find counterfeit cartridges. So it is really not the companies themselves that are producing these harmful uh, cartridges, but the lack of regulation, the lack of oversight has resulted in a free-for-all market in situation where you just go out there and, and, and buy, um, you know, cannabis cartridges that are not brand produced and you're inhaling toxins that are resulting in, in, in deaths. Um, a good example is uh, an arrest that took place just a couple of months ago in Michigan. Two brothers, one 20 and the other one 23 years old, arrested not for uh, heroin, not for cocaine, but for having uh, 98,000 empty cartridges of e-cigarettes, and they had 50-something jars of uh, cannabis oil. And in their living room, without any kind of uh, proper safety or, or hygiene uh, measures, they were just uh, filling up those cartridges and selling them in the black market. Uh, and it is exactly that kind of lack of regulation that resulted in so many youngsters just going out there vaping. Maybe they were vaping regular uh, uh, genuine products out there, and all of a sudden they come across the, the cannabis oil vaping, and uh, they try it, and they develop this horrible uh, lung disease that in many instances killed them. And so uh, that's a potential huge setback for us and, and uh, it seems like we're finally moving in the right direction with regulating and getting this under control, but uh, it's been out of control for a long time. Okay, so not the situation, but the answer. Mm -hmm. 
That's awesome. Do you, th this is, I think we're good. Are you good? Is there anything else like that? Well, I hope that you can use that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah.